students scream as their school bus rolls over on a Texas highway. Then, last week in Ohio, students are thrown from their seats as their bus is hit by an SUV and flips on its side. That's reality, but this simulated crash also paints an alarming picture. It shows what can happen inside a school bus during a rollover accident. You can see the unbelted crash test dummies hurtling through the air, slamming into the ceiling and walls. It's any parent's worst fear. Susan Castro of Franklin, a mother of six, has argued for years for seatbelts on school buses. Every single day, they're in danger of being injured if they're on a school bus. Absolutely, I think it should be a priority. So far, only these six states have enacted laws calling for belts on buses, but that could soon change. The issue is gaining steam nationally. There are about a dozen states considering legislation to require seat belts on school buses, but Wisconsin is not one of them. In fact, while most small buses are required to have seat belts, Janesville is the only school district in the state that requires them on full-size school buses. If you have an opportunity to save a life or to prevent a serious injury by using a seat belt or having that seat belt available to someone, I think that's a good reason to have it. But so far, no other Wisconsin districts have followed Janesville's lead. The sad truth is, it takes a tragedy. Tim Cullen has fought unsuccessfully for years to get seat belts on all Wisconsin school buses. Why is this so important to you? Well, it's important to me because it saves lives. As a Janesville school board member, he led the fight for seat belts there, and later as a state senator, tried to do the same statewide. But those efforts failed. Where is the logic that the driver gets a seat belt and not the, not the riders? There is no federal requirement. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's official position is school buses are designed to be safer than passenger vehicles with what the agency calls a different kind of safety restraint system that works extremely well. But many parents aren't convinced. Do you think there should be seat belts on a school bus? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's the law. We have to have it in the car, so why not on the bus? Now 12 News has learned there may be some movement from the feds, telling us in a written statement the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration believes that seat belts save lives. The agency is working with officials from jurisdictions that are using seat belts on school buses to learn ways to deal with costs and other factors. And cost is a big concern. Janesville school officials tell us seat belts can add an extra $15,000 per bus. It can be a very expensive proposition for schools. Is it important? Then you put it in the budget and you get it done. It would pose a challenge for any district, but seatbelt proponents argue you can't put a price tag on the safety of children. So what do you think? Does it make sense to have seatbelts on smaller or special needs buses like this one, but not on the larger buses that so many students ride every day? None of the bus companies that we reached out to would comment. And when we asked the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to go on camera and explain it, we were told that due to the transition to a new administration in Washington, no one from that agency is doing any interviews. But as the feds consider any possible changes in policy, we will keep pressing them for answers. In Milwaukee, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News.